Sawadikrat, and welcome to Puket Extra. I'm JP Mistanza, and it's Tuesday, September 5. Now let's catch you up with all the news you need to know. The remains of four scorched street dogs is prompting a formal investigation by police as they look into last week's horrible incident at the Bang Bang Nu Dam in Sri Sinton. News of the discovery came about after a local expat filed a complaint with Talang police saying she hadn't seen the dogs for days before finally their remains were found at a rubber tree forest not far from where they would be fed by locals. The Phuket News was told that witnesses saw the four dogs dying of what looked like some kind of poison and that three other puppies frequented the area they were also missing. Still, police had a curious problem when they went to pick up the bodies. They only found one dog whose body did not have burn marks on it. The investigation is ongoing. And police in Pengna province are giving their word that they will bring justice in a horrific rape case just north of Phuket as a 14-year-old admitted she had been gang raped by nearly 40 men in the six-month period. According to reports, the attacks took place from May to October of 2006 when a girl would repeatedly come abducted from her home in the Takwa Tong district of the province as her parents would leave her with her much younger brother while they went out working the land. The victim would be drugged and filmed during the despicable acts and police say the girl was blackmailed as one of the suspects was allegedly a landover whose plot of land her family lived on and worked. She admitted that during one instance up to 11 people had raped her. Earlier this week police had arrested three suspects but they were released on bail. Since then several others have been identified. The victim is receiving support from a local religious organization here in Phuket and we'll update you on the case as it develops. Several men are going public in saying that this woman stole their dowry money between 200 and 500,000 baht each, fleeing right after their wedding and now police are investigating. The hunt is on for 32-year-old Jariya Pon Boyai, known as Naman, who is accused of stealing 200,000 baht from her latest victim, 32-year-old Prasan Tiamyam. He said they were married after finding out she was pregnant but she fled four days after their wedding. After repeatedly trying to contact her, someone claiming to be the woman's niece said she lost the baby and shouldn't contact her again. That's when he went to not only the police but posted the story on social media and seven others alleged victims spoke up, one of whom lost 500,000 baht. Police tried going to her parents' house in Loi province, but they too fled, and her closest known relative, her sister, said she lost 100,000 baht in a loan to the suspect. The investigation is ongoing. And sit tight, Puka Dexter, we'll be right back after this. Welcome back to Puka Dexter. A gruesome discovery in Kanchanaburi province as a search party looking for a five-year-old girl found her body stuffed in a fertilizer bag and dumped inside a septic tank over the weekend. Police say that the girl's throat had a cut about eight centimeters long and she had been dead for about six to eight hours before her body was discovered out behind an abandoned home septic tank just over a hundred meters from her own home. There were no traces of sexual assault. One suspect, a 24-year-old relative, has already been arrested as he was picked up behind a school just this morning. More on this story as it develops. And the founder of mobile phone operator DTAC, Bunchai Ben Charongkul, he's denying allegations by an NGO that his mountaintop resort in Pangna province is encroaching on forest reserve. The Department of Special Investigation are looking into the allegations that shady dealings went on to acquire the land, but Bunchai says he paid for it legally from a land development firm, providing the DSI with both the contract and the construction permit. Though the property has since been transferred to his ex-wife, the telecom tycoon was summoned by authorities as part of a wider investigation into public land encroachment in the province. And that's it for Puka Extra today from all of us here at the Puka News Center. Thank you for watching. Until tomorrow, stay classy, Phuket.